Hey guys, I'm LB, I'm still a little sick so my voice still sounds funny, and we're gonna play Time Machines Are Always Fun 5. As I said, you have to use this light bridge to solve the puzzle. Wait, you have to use this light bridge there to solve the puzzle. Oh, I just spoiled you the solution. And, uh, what is that supposed to be? I'm not sure what face that's supposed to be. Alright, let's get started. Something about using this light bridge there to solve the puzzle. This death chamber saves auto magically. Alright. We've got a cube constantly respawning. We've got an area to use a light bridge there, I suppose. Which would also work for here. And we need a cube here. And a cube here. To do that. Ooh, that was. Oh, that turned on the light bridge. That's why it lagged my game. And then. Ah. So then... Yeah, okay. So really, we just want our clone to do what I just did. Let's see... <coughs> Start recording. Looks like there's a button in there. I guess we'll figure that out momentarily, but for now... We gotta let this cycle continue. Okay, stop recording. Play. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh wait, where? I did not think that through, did I? What is the other thing that activates this? Uh, hello? That did not even disable the fiddler? Is it this button that does it? Oh my gosh! Dude, fix the signage! How was I supposed to know this button would do that? Look at that. Fix the signage! Alright, let's uh... I think in Vanilla Petty it actually goes to the edges of the Fizzler, so... Unless B-Mod changed something, you would have had to specifically put them here. I don't know. Uh, okay, so we thought... Yes, there is a button in there, but... There's no portable surfaces that we have access to. I'm not sure how we would get in there. Oh, this is... okay. So in that case, we really just need the clone to stand here. Let's record. Blah de blah de blah. The clone's gonna stand here for a while. Let's just watch this cool animation. That is the most polished thing in this entire mod. Well, actually, no. I take that back. There's a lot of there's a lot of cool things in this mod, but this mod does need some polish. Night cube animation is just one of the many cool things. Oh! I forgot to mute my phone. Let us do that, please. Alright, I think that's long enough, right? Let's, uh... go. What's in here? Oh, hello. Oh, goodness. Ooh. Uh, this is 
interesting. I guess the goal is to get here and get inside there and push the button. Oh, well. <laughs> wow, that was incredibly lucky. Oh, look at that, my little clipboard does not like going through portals, apparently. Let's see... Yeah, this is, uh... Oh, so I can restart the recording and it won't interrupt the light bridge, but it will interrupt my portals. Which is amazing, I don't want it to interrupt. Let me think about this. Oh, I can get the cube in here. Let's see... Just a one-time thing, apparently. Nope. Never mind, getting another- Ah, dang it, I walked off! Oh no, and I didn't even quick save. Oh, quick save me up here. Actually, that's good. I like that. That's nice. So, we've lost the music, but whatever. Who cares about music? Let's see... Let's try this again. <laughs> Why did I do it that way? I didn't realize those portal surfaces were inset. Alright, let's, uh... There we go. This... Do that... Do this... Grab the cube... Oh, I need to be quicker, apparently. Or I need to record for longer. Alright, let's just record for longer, how about that? Record! Does the game still play when we- when we shift-tab? No, it does not. That's unfortunate. So what I want to do is get the cube on the light bridge, restart the recording, which will clear my portals. Then I can come down here, jump on the button, uh, which will disable the fizzler, and then I can stop the recording, which will turn off the light bridge and let the cube fall. Pretty sure that should work, right? And then once we have the cube, we'll have to figure out about what to do there. This seems like a cool map already. I'm already starting to like this. Let's see. Alright, alright. I think that, that is quite long enough. Come on, let's, let's try this again. Okay, let's 
restart the recording. And stop the recording. Yes! We have a cube! Alright! Cube of pain. Where do we want to use this cube? I'm assuming there, right? So, one thing I'm a bit confused on... How are we gonna make that happen? What is this for? And these? I mean, these are to get over there, that's for sure, but this, I'm not sure what the point of that is. <coughs> Excuse me? So we want to get in there, right? There is a risky way we could do it. But I'm not sure it's intended is the thing. It would also allow us to get in there, but again, I'm not sure it's intended. So what I would want to do... I'll stand here while we're talking about it. So, I, you know, my clone stands here, right? We do that whole rigmarole again. And we get into this spot, right? And you remember how I landed there without actually falling through? And then the clone, when I activated, put me back up on the light bridge? We could stand there... for a little while. Let the clone move to this button. Shoot the portal there, shoot the portal there, and then reactivate the light bridge. That would allow me to press that button to figure out whether it's on a timer. Which, if it is... Uh, screw you. Also, we want to go in there as well, so we go back through and then come back out... You know. Okay, so let's just assume... That I am there, right now. I wanna go there first. So don't fall down, but... do go in there, figure out what that holds. So we'll just do this for a little while. Don't know how long, because, you know, I might have to wait for the cube to rebuild itself. And then what we'll want to do... is... assuming that we're back on the light bridge now, right? We'll want to shoot... here. So that we can put the cube on the button. And press the button. Which... theoretically should make this map a lot easier. I hope. And I think... Assuming we don't stay in there to trap ourselves, we should be done. Alright, let's hope this works. I'm going to quick save.
Oh, come on, really? Save buffer overflow, report mapping conditions. Ah, uh, I bet it's because of how long that recording was and I tried to quick save. Are you serious, game? Okay, well, let's see if it at least has my other quick save. Let's launch the game again. Oh boy, that... that gets on my nerves. OBS, there we go. Now let's try this again. What happens if we press F7? Okay, so we at least have the cube, right? There we go. So we're gonna have to talk over this again. Figure this out. Okay, let's record. So, we, uh, do there. Go up. Walk across. We do the ninja moves in there, walk across here, and then we drop down, and drop down, and then we, you know, walk along into here, which we're now up there. Uh, and we want to land there. So then what our clone does is it shoots there, and, uh, there. And gives us some time to, uh, to get that cube. And press whatever that button is in there, which I have no idea what it does, to be honest. And then... We shoot there, and give ourselves some more time to put the cube and press the button. And then get back out in order to not trap ourselves. If we do trap ourselves, they can just play the recording again and just have to wait a while. And then, uh... Stop recording. And hit F6 and hope the game doesn't crash. Nope, it crashes! Okay, well, I am not gonna put up with that. Let's try this again. Maybe this time let's just not save, and hope that we don't run into any automatic saves, or anything like that. Oh my gosh, I... Why does this game crash like that? That is annoying. Alright, let's try this again. Okay, so, we want to start recording. We do that, we go up here, <coughs> walk across, and do our ninja stuff. And hopefully right now we're up there. Do this. Give ourselves some time. And this time I'm not gonna quick save, so we'll have to redo this every time I mess up, probably. And then there. And then stop recording. Alright. Whew. Let's see. Let's... play. Whew. Okay, we made it. We made it.
Okay. Oh, we need to move our... Okay. Let's, uh, let's press play then. And then we just have to wait a little while. And then the clone will be able to do its thing. Yeah, we had to move our portal. Forgot about that. <coughs> okay, it's about to happen. There we go. Whatever that does, I... Oh no! Game Y! Uh... Okay, lesson learned. Do not push that button. Oh my gosh. Uh... I guess that's a button to press if you trap yourself. How was I supposed to know? All right. Oh, come on, really? Let's try this again. Run, 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 run! Okay, and then we move this guy. Don't press that button, let's just get the cube and get out. Seems to be permanent. Awesome. Alright. Real quick. Record. Stop recording. Play back. Maybe that'll make it so that if we try to quick save now, it'll work. But I'm not gonna risk it. I really want to quick save though. Uh uh. I'm gonna risk it. Yes! Yes! The game didn't crash! <sighs> okay. So overriding your recording with a shorter one will make the quick save work. Thank goodness. Okay. Looks like the exit's up there according to the signage. So... Now the question is using that. Alright, and I think we just want to do the same thing, basically. So let's see, we record, and uh, we go up, go across, run, 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 run. We go in there, do some ninja stuff. We come down here, and hopefully we're up there, right? And then we move our portal. Yes, I know there's a new post by Kurt G. Mac. Okay, so then we want to do this, and this. Alright, and that should do it. I hope. Dear God, I hope that's all we have to do. Okay, let's... let's... let's stop. Alright. That could have been done better, but whatever. Oh, crap! Okay, well we have to do that recording again. But, at least the recording is the only thing we have to do again. So be thankful. 
Look at that cube jittering away. <coughs> also, hang on a minute, I think we can make this easier on ourselves. Let me see something here. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, that makes things a lot easier, then. So... Really? Uh, actually, hang on. Does that make things easier? I'm trying to think, how does that help us? Because we still have to move the cube back. Which... would... Who would move the cube back? Let's not do it this way. I am not gonna do it that way. Whatever reason- Oh, that's permanent? That's permanent? Huh. Well, alright then. Thank you for that. So really all we wanna do... Is, uh... Let's see, let's... Um... I already lost track of what I want to do. Oh, oh, okay. Record. Fire portal there. Fire portal there. Get on the light bridge, get on the chopper, whatever you want to call it. And then, fire portal there. There we go. So we walk across... And that should be good, I hope. Alright, let's- let's try it. Oh my gosh, why did I do that? I'm an idiot. Oh... Gotta do that again. Alright, alright. Record. Fire portal there. Don't jump to my death. After firing that, wait till the light bridge appears, idiot. Okay, that should work. Can we save? Yes, we can save! Awesome. Light bridge appears. There we go. That's what's supposed to happen. <coughs> <coughs> oh good, I'm glad I waited extra time. Well guys, as always, thank you for watching, if you hate the sound of voice, leave a dislike, it's up to you, and I will see you all in the next episode after we rate that puzzle. I guess because of the way we load our quicksave or whatever, it, uh, doesn't want to work properly. Let's see... rate... and actually I really like this one, I'm gonna favorite it. Goodbye!